Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Eliasson card to review today. So, we're taking a look at a card that is 5'10", medium, medium work rates, left-footed, 4-star skimmels with a 3-star weak foot. Uh, so, obviously, right off the bat, this card is going to be Sentimental Value FC because of the 3-star, 4-star capability in those main areas of the card. Uh, he is a left mid. Does he have stamina? Stamina is at a 99 for stamina. So, if you play a card like this in the left mid position with 99 stamina, it'll definitely be usable in that position because of the fact that he is a left-footed player. But obviously in game, we're going to be trying him out at left mid, striker, to see how he plays uh, best. Player traits in game, he does have the early crosser traits as well as the technical dribbler trait. Attributes in game, he's at 99 for acceleration, 92 for sprint speed, which I think is perfectly fine in this game. Uh, if your dribbling stats is set up a certain way, uh, then it definitely works out well. So he does have 74 composure to work with too. 74 composure is really low nowadays, guys. Like in my opinion, I feel like this guy could have high 90s in every single dribbling stat and then the composure being at a 74 will kind of just drop those dribbling stats in a way like in game in regards to how it performs, right? Uh, he does have a lean body type. Right, so with the lean body type, we do have to see how that performs in game. But with 81 reactions and 74 composure, I do see it performing differently. But we'll obviously see. Uh, again, 99 acceleration, 92 sprint speed is perfectly fine to have in the left mid position. But we're going to be trying him out through the middle to test out attacking AI. Uh, base card stats for shooting: he's at 91. We have to finish. We have to boost his finishing shot power and long shots as much as possible because the marks are going to be boosting that to a 96, 99, 97 with 90, 89 for volleys. Again, working with very low composure. Base card stats for passing is perfectly fine. You don't really do long passes that much anyway, so it should be okay there. Dribbling for the car, we will be experimenting with too because of the lean body type that he has. And then last but not least for physical stats, he has 72 base strength. Uh, but 82 strength with the chemistry style as well, while giving him 96 for jumping in the side position. So, with Eliasson, guys, we will be using him up top in the striker position as well as the left mid position. Uh, so, you can see here we'll have him up top here at striker. We'll rotate him uh, to the left mid position. Strikers, we have them on both balance instructions. So we don't have to worry about too much. Uh, with the left mid, we do have them on comeback and defense. In his case, yes, he doesn't have defensive stats, but he does have 99 stamina to be able to push forward, come back really nicely with those medium, medium work rates. So, so we'll see how he performs in game. Hopefully, he is a beast. Let's go, Eliasson. Good stuff, good stuff. Good little combination play between him and Forsberg. We will take that. Oh my, that was a shot. Did he shoot that? Oh my goodness. I don't know what that registration was, my dudes. But uh, I'll tell you this much. It wasn't it. It wasn't it. Yeah, Eliasson's dribbling. Uh, it, he definitely has like a sway to it. Uh, it's not a great sway. Like obviously with Forsberg and stuff, like they have a little bit of sway because it's FIFA mechanics, right? But not like a sway like this card has right now. That release, the pass was really strange with him there too. Very weird one. Nice, Eliasson. Good finish. Just a regular shot across goal. We'll take it. Nice little pass there, Forsberg. Oh, Eliasson, no. Yeah, his left stick is a, is a little bit strange for sure. Nice, good goal right there. His movement's not bad. He's actually making some pretty good attacking AI runs right now. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, I tried it. That's not a good skill move to do against a goalkeeper, guys, so don't ever do that, okay? I just wanted to see what would happen, but uh, it was a good play right there. I definitely could have scored that opportunity if I went for, like, a first-time strike, but, uh, yeah. 
Let's go Elias in. Little tackle right there. Oh, I just want to try a crazy tackle or a shot right there. Oh, hello. Oh, no way. Yeah, I wanted to try a first time strike right there. His attacking AI is actually pretty solid though. Like I'd actually don't mind it at all. Um, definitely moves across the pitch well. There we go. Nice little pass off right there. Let's go, Eliasson. We'll take that tackle. Oh, that pass could have been a little bit better right there. The pass could have been sick, but on his right, you know. Oh, I try to get some dribble dribbles off there, but didn't really work out. His close control left stick dribbling wasn't too bad right there, though. Oh, yeah. It's that left stick touches from, like, those really sharp angles that you want to be able to do where you can kind of feel that push and pull from him, right? Oh, yeah, way too close to the goal here right there. Oh, it was a good ball there, too. It is a card where, uh, with Eliasson, that if you do end up doing the SBC, uh, it's a card that you mostly use in the left mid position, I would say. Like, anywhere on the left side because of the fact that uh, his uh, dribbling feels the way that it does. Like, these cards are fine the... Uh, Left mid, right mid position, so. Oh, Eliasin, no. How could you, mate? How could you? Oh, imagine. Nice little skill move touch and then a uh, finesse shot off there. Would have been cool, would have been cool. Yeah, I'll we'll score a nice little cheeky goal right there. We'll just take it. Beautiful, beautiful. He got the ball there? Oh, no way. I tried to go for like a ball roll, so I wanted to see if I can uh, get a nice little finesse shot angle there. But he's no work, my friend. He's no work. Go Eliasson. Oh, let's go Eliasson. I was a little bit concerned that I put too much power on it, but it was it was just perfect. I was like, I think I'm gonna hit the crossbar here. And uh no, it came off. It came off well. That was a crazy pass, by the way. Oh, give me that shaw cancel. Give me that shaw cancel with Kulisevsky. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the Eliasson card in regards to how he performs in-game. So this is a card that if I were to unlock myself, it would be for Sentimental Value FC. It is a little bit tough to work with him in-game because of base dribbling stats with the main thing here is a 74 composure, right? So 74 composure can be annoying from time to time. With a card like this, because he is a silver player, what this card essentially is, is like, you know how they did like, uh, like a Dalbert card for... I think it was the foot birthday Dalbert, right? That's what this card reminds me of so much. It's like using Dalbert in the team, right? Uh, although I do think that attacking AI-wise, this card is a little bit better because he actually makes really good movements across the pitch, makes the angled runs when he should. But this is a card that I would unlock more for sentimental value than anything else 
if I was playing him in that left mid position in my team. And obviously, for the Swedish guys, they're probably going to unlock this card, right? So for you guys, with the marksman chemistry stop, the shooting is pretty decent on his left foot. But obviously, his left stick dribbling is not going to be the greatest because of the uh, main dribbling stats on the card uh, for reactions and composure. When he's under pressure, that's when you feel it the most for sure. Although you can work with it with those quick left stick touches um, as much as you possibly can, of course. The 99 stamina will also allow you to use him in that left mid position. And tell him to get in behind, tell him to come back in the fence uh, to get you into some good situations from time to time, you know, as much as you possibly can. Uh, he does have a three star weak foot, which is a huge downfall of the card, especially since his dribbling doesn't really accommodate well enough to be able to get into those positions quick enough to get him on his right foot to score those finesse shots or power strikes across goal, so on and so forth, right? Uh, with the medium medium work rates, I honestly did not mind the medium medium work rates that much with him. Like I said, I do think that he actually moves across the pitch really well but his left stick dribbling is definitely really rough to work with and he does feel like a very linear player because of the three star weak foot as well so um yeah he definitely joins the sentimental value fc club but if you guys want to unlock him for that reason then obviously do so at your own leisure so hopefully you guys did enjoy the video today i'll catch you guys for the next video peace out dudes love you guys